Fortnite's unstoppable rise as a building battle phenomenon demands ultra-smooth FPS if you want to secure victory royales on any hardware. On low-end PCs stuck at a choppy 18 frames per second, even the best aim can falter, but we're about to flip the script. Give me just few minutes, and I'll show you how some tweaks can boost you from a stuttering 18 frames per second to a silky smooth 45 frames per second. Open Fortnite's settings menu, on the top right corner select your image, and then the gear icon, the window mode probably will be set to windowed full screen but you have to change it to full screen. Next, adjust resolution. Try dropping it to 1600x900 or even 1280x720 if you must. Fewer pixels means the GPU has less work, so the game runs much smoother. V-Sync off. Frame limit to unlimited. Rendering mode to performance. Scroll down, quality preset to low, anti-aliasing to NVIDIA DLSS if you have it enabled, otherwise turn it off, and set the 3D resolution to 30. All other settings should be set to lowest or off. You can enable the show FPS thing, and NVIDIA Reflex should be on plus boost if you have it, but you can even set it to on, doesn't really make much difference. These in-game tweaks sacrifice some graphics quality, but on a slow PC they can double or triple your FPS. Check Fortnite's launch options in the Epic Games Launcher. Click Library, then the three dots on Fortnite and go to Manage, Turn on launch options. Some players add commands like these to ensure the game uses all CPU threads and to give the game higher CPU priority. These are unofficial tweaks and often the game already uses all cores by default, so results vary. Now head to your game's location. Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. Scroll down and go to properties of Fortnite client. Compatibility. Check these two options. Now change high DPI settings, check this option as well. Next copy its location. Head on to search bar. Type graphics settings. Open up. Now hit browse. Paste the game's location here. Select your game and add it. Now check high performance for the game. Now let's update the graphics driver, if you have NVIDIA GPU then you can follow me. Head on to this website to download NVIDIA app, simply download and install it. Open the NVIDIA app. Go to the drivers option. And then install the latest driver from here, you can select the driver you need, game ready or the studio one, up to you. When it's all done, right click on desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. In the Manage 3D Settings panel, go to Program Settings. Now add a program. Select Fortnite from here. Scroll down and select Power Management to Maximum Performance. Texture Filtering to High Performance. Threaded optimizations on. V sync off. Alright, apply them. 
To further boost your gaming experience, disable the Xbox Game Bar by navigating to Windows Settings, then Gaming, and toggling it off along with any background capture features. This prevents any unwanted overlays from causing stutters during your sessions. At the same time, enable Game Mode to prioritize system resources for your active game, ensuring a smoother experience with fewer interruptions. We also need to minimize background processes by disabling unnecessary startup apps through the Task Manager, Next, switch your power plan to high performance by navigating to control panel's power options and selecting the high performance plan. After that, clean up your disk space by running the built-in disk cleanup tool from the start menu, selecting your drive, and checking all the boxes to remove unnecessary files. Additionally, open the Run dialog with Win plus R, type percent temp percent, and delete all temporary files. This step helps clear clutter that can slow down your system over time. Another tip is to use Memory Reduct, it's a free and very useful software, just download it from the link below. Simply install it. and then check the run thing. Let me show you what it does, we're opening up our task manager to see how much memory we're using. We're using around 9 gigs, so when we hit clean, it clears up the memory and reduces to 3 gigs. Cool right? While it's very helpful while gaming, in the game whenever you feel sluggish, just use Memory Reduct to free up your gigs. You can always find it at the very corner of your desktop. By following these detailed steps, you'll not only streamline your system by eliminating unnecessary background tasks and bloatware but also unlock hidden performance boosts that can make your gaming experience significantly smoother. Let me know on what topic you want the next video, the comment section is always open.